Hello all. So in previous lecture we have seen class and object. A class is a combination of member variables and member functions. The member functions access the member variable in order to perform their task. Moreover, we have also seen that the object is created with the help of class. The class does not occupy any space in RAM. That is the object that will actually occupy the memory in the RAM. So this was object oriented programming approach. Now in this lecture, we are going to see example of oops. So in the example, we are creating a class. So the syntax to create class is this. First, we will write the keyword class. After that, the name of the class, right? Up next, we will create a block. In this block, we will write member variables and member functions, right? So in this class, we are creating length and breadth as a member variable. And in member function, we have created a function to set the values into these length and breadth member variables. With this function, set data, the values inside the x and y variable will get copied into the length and breadth variable right now after that with the area function we are calculating the area of house that is length into breadth right so this is the syntax of a class we know that a class is nothing but a blueprint so we can relate this class with this so this is the map of a house you can see here it consists of bedroom Two bedroom are there, this is hall, this is bathroom, kitchen, puja room, etc. Right? So when we create a class, we are actually creating a blueprint like this. Right? This is not the actual house. Please note that a actual house will occupy some space, but this map of the house will not occupy any space. Right? So this is the meaning of class and this is the syntax of writing a class. Now let's see how to create object. In order to create object, we need to write the name of the class. So the class name followed by the object name. This H1 is the object name, right? So when we will write this statement, that is class name and the object name, the memory gets allocated to this H1 object. So this object H1 will consist of variables like length, breadth, x, y. So all these member variables and functions will get memory only when we will create the object. It means when we are creating the object, we are actually creating the actual house. So you can see that it is taking some land, but this map of the house does not occupy any space, right? Now further, let's see how to access the member functions. In order to access the member function, the syntax is pretty simple. First, we will write the name of the object, that is h1, the dot operator, after that, the name of the function. So here, we are using setData function. This setData function requires two arguments. So we are passing two values as actual argument. So these values 500 and 600 will get copied into the X and Y variable. Now after getting copied, these values will also get copied into the length and breadth variable. So they will also copied into the length and breadth variable like this. Now after that, we are calling another member function that is area. So the syntax is same object name dot function. So this function will calculate the area that is length into breadth and it will print with this C out that is 500 into 600, right? So what is the takeaway of this lecture? The takeaway is pretty simple that how to create the class and the class is nothing but a blueprint like this map. 
further we have also seen that how to create object and when we are creating object we are actually allocating memory like this house after that we have seen how to call the functions with the object right now let's hop over into visual studio to see the practical demonstration so now let's start writing our code in visual studio so first let's start with blueprint that is class to create class we will write the keyword class and the name of class that is house and in the block we will write the member variables and member functions so first let's write member variables so the member variables are length and breadth of integer type and we will initialize with zero right up next we will create member functions so the member functions are set data to set the data into these member variables now the second function is area function so in area function we will simply print length into breadth right so we have created member variables and member functions let's create the object of class so to create the object the syntax is name of the class that is house followed by the name of object so let's say i want to create guinea's house so i will write guinea here right after that let's say you want to access the member functions inside this class so i will write here the name of object the dot operator and let's say i want to access set data function right and i will pass two values that is 300 comma 500 right now after that let's say i want to access the member variable that is length and initialize it with 80 right but here you can see that it is showing some error the error is function set data is inaccessible but why this set data function and this length is inaccessible this is because of a concept the concept is access specifier the access specifier is the thing which allow the member variables and member functions to be accessed outside the class or not by default the access specifier is private the private means the member variables and functions can be used within the class only here you can see that this length variable is used inside the class only here it is not showing any error but if i try to use it outside the class then it is showing some error so in order to correct that i need to provide access specifier as public so that it could be used outside the class so i will write here public and colon so with this member variables and member functions can be used outside the class now it is not showing any error but wait there is another catch here the catch is we don't want our member variables to be accessed outside the class we have created the set data function in order to set the values inside these member variables right so we want to hide our data so in order to hide the data we need to change the access specifier for the member variable only so for member variable i will write here private and for the member functions i will write here public right now with this the length is showing error because we have provided private access specifier to it right but we don't want to use length outside the class we want to hide our data and only want this set data function to access this length variable so with this we are providing an extra layer of security right now let's call another function that is area function so i will write here area and semicolon now after that let's run our program so you can see that the area of house is successfully printed on the console right 